Here at BCIT, we have 32 programs in the School of Health Sciences. They range anywhere from specialty nursing, bachelor of nursing, diagnostics, lab, and allied health programs. We are very unique in that we have one of the largest simulation labs in Western Canada. So the learning model prior to the pivot to online learning, it was primarily learners coming on campus to get that foundational knowledge through lectures or group activities. And then they would still have their labs and the experiential learning aspect of it. What we're doing now is more of a blended approach so that uh, instructors can put their lectures online and uh, they can also put group activities online as well. They still need to come on campus to do some of those hands-on components, but we are see seeing more of a blended approach. We've really worked hard to make sure that the students get the experience that they deserve, that it meets the learning outcomes and the competencies of the program. The only difference is that we've uh, spread things out a little bit further and sometimes their class sizes are a little bit smaller. But other than that, they're getting the same experiential learning opportunities as always. So we've heard uh, our students say their experience of coming on campus for these simulation labs, they have felt very safe. We've even had students say that they feel safer coming onto campus than they do going into their own local grocery store. And I think that's due to all the organization, the time that we spent over the summer with occupational health and safety. We've marked the hallways with arrows indicating the direction so that we can control the flow, marking the floors so that they know exactly where they need to stand, and the scheduling too so that we don't have all of the students on campus at the same time. They go to the specific bedside that they have been instructed to do so, and then the instructor is ready to start the simulation. In some cases, we actually have them in the back of the room, and using a technology called an ELMO, the instructor can be much further away and can actually do a demonstration for all students to see. They don't have to be right next to them. So if a student ever needs an instructor to step in closer to assist, then the instructor with the proper PPE steps in, does that assistance and then steps away again. In many cases, faculty will be wearing PPE all day, and that's due to the frequent need to move close to the students to assist them in the lab. And then once the students have completed their simulation experience, then they immediately leave the campus and they can continue on their day. Some of the other unique methods that we've employed is that instead of the students actually coming on campus for a simulated experience, we've shipped some equipment to them. Now, it's just small pieces of equipment. They actually ran a home-based simulation using family members or people within their bubble, and then they shipped that equipment back to us. We have a highly interactive web-based virtual simulation program that we use, and the learners can interact with 3D avatar patients. And this, we found that it really reduces the amount of time that they come on campus because they hit the ground running when they come to the simulation lab. The students really enjoyed some of these activities that were really just supposed to be a temporary fix. Um, they really want that to continue as part of the program. Uh, so we will continue to do that. We're all looking for creative solutions to continue the experiential learning opportunities that BCIT is known for. And so it's really exciting to see that not only in our programs in the School of Health Sciences, uh, we see that collaboration, but we're seeing this collaboration across the entire campus. So it's an amazing thing to see and experience.